Teacher Amy here. I've had a couple of teachers ask me recently about some tips for teaching consecutive back-to-back -back classes and also standby classes so that they feel a little bit more confident. The first thing I would like to talk to you about is teaching consecutive back-to-back -back classes. I personally teach six back-to-back -back classes and the one thing that I can tell you that helps me the most is prepare, prepare, prepare. Go through each and every lesson, making sure that you know the content for each lesson and I think that it's important to know the Let's Play slide number so that you can make sure that your timing goes accordingly so that you don't run over for the next class. So right now I'm going to show you the whiteboard that I have that's right above my laptop computer in my office. Um, these are the classes that I'm going to be teaching tomorrow morning and in this row, in this column, I have the ages of the students. That way whenever I'm preparing with the props, I try to make sure that they're age appropriate. The column right here is the lesson um, number if I ever need to go on the blah blah comments app on Facebook I can quickly type in those numbers and figure out what props I need what the let's play slide is and things like that um, right here is obviously the time that I teach it and the name of the lesson and most importantly right here is the let's play slide I try to get that um, to reach the Let's Play slide between 18 and 20 minutes. And if you have never taught the new intensive classes, you will notice that Brown Bear Brown Bear reaches the Let's Play slide on slide number 13. So if you grab a standby and you have Brown Bear Brown Bear, um, that could come up on you really quickly. So you will need to make sure that you have prepared a lot of extension. When I prepare for each of my classes, I put all my props together in these little clear plastic, um, I guess you'll call them Tupperware containers. You can get those at the dollar store or at Walmart for a little bit of nothing. And um, actually these are pretty large stuffed animals and they're able to fit nicely into these and it keeps them organized in that way my first lesson I just pull the first one out and then the second lesson and if you can believe it the ox and the pig for the alphabet O and P both actually fit in that and we also have the I enjoy it um, the guitar and the paint those are the keywords for that lesson and does a kangaroo have a mother too that's a really cool new um, class that we are offering here at Magic Years. Another thing to think about if you are new to teaching consecutive classes is that your voice is going to tire a lot easier and a lot quicker than you're used to if you are not used to teaching that many classes back to back. So make sure that you have plenty of water to keep your voice hydrated, especially in between classes. And if you have to do it during class, just make sure that you have a clear glass with water in it. And something else that I personally um, do every morning is I always use my colloidal silver spray. Um, it is specifically for your throat. Um, this one is just because you can spray it um, in there. And that helps a lot with my voice fatigue is colloidal silver. Another thing to think about if you are new to teaching consecutive classes is that if you are a teacher who likes to stand, then your feet are gonna kinda of get a little bit tired. So, I love to teach standing up. It gives me a lot more energy, but I personally recommend that you wear very comfortable, cushiony tennis shoes and get a rubber um, squishy mat that might you might find um, in the kitchen rug section at the department store. Um, if you are an Aldi shopper, they have them this week on sale at Aldi for six or seven dollars, I'm not sure, but they're a really nice size mat, enough to wear, um, you would just need one because you, it's big enough to wear uh, your teaching space, you probably wouldn't move around from it, so it's a really good deal if you uh, are in need of a standing mat. So the last part that I want to talk about is teaching standby classes. If you have never taught a standby class before, just go ahead and make that jump and do it. It is actually really, really fun. It's not as bad as you think it's going to be, especially now that Nick from Blah Blah Comments has made an app on Facebook 
where you can type in the lesson number and it automatically pulls up all the content for the lesson, the keywords, the let's play slide. It gives you everything in order for that particular lesson. Something that I personally do is I have some hanging clear um, shoe organizers that I bought from Walmart for about $6 a piece. Um, each shoe organizer contains 26 slots and so I have the slots organized um, by alphabet, by um, shapes, by colors, so that whenever I'm teaching a standby class I can just quickly look and grab things that um, are related to each other so that I don't have to look all around um, and find props for uh, using the, the two prop minimum for each class. So these are the two hanging shoe organizers that I was telling you about. I have them both hanging side by side and if you notice I have them um, by alphabetical order and by color and topic. So if you are teaching standby classes it makes it a lot easier to find things and grab them quickly whenever you are not familiar with that particular lesson. Something also that I find that's very helpful and useful for standby classes is puppets and lots of stuffed animals and also a, um, a whiteboard, that, a dry erase whiteboard that you can get from the dollar store. And I also have cut little pieces of construction paper so that I can write keywords very quickly on those. Um, I think that they just look a lot more colorful whenever I write them on pieces of um, colored construction paper. So I hope that those few tips have helped you if you are new to teaching consecutive classes, if you are new to doing standby classes, or if you're just a new teacher here at Magic Years. We are always here to help you. We want the best for you. Anytime you have any questions, reach out to any of the mentors or to the Beijing team. They are always here and would love to help. Thanks. Happy teaching. Bye.